Hi everyone, Jacob Howard here, and in this video we're going to talk about long-range FPV flying and the equipment necessary to do it. Flying long-range with FPV drones is quickly becoming popular with a lot of pilots. The ability to fly a half mile or more is generally considered long-range. Now, you can't just take any drone and fly it off into the sunset, though. There needs to be specialized equipment installed on your drone and on your goggles, or in most cases, you will need a whole drone that is built for long-range flying. Most transmitters, or TXs, come with a signal frequency of 2.4 GHz. This is great for flying in parks and open areas, but not so good if you're flying behind dense trees or structures, or if you plan on flying long range. The first piece of equipment you're going to need is a long range transmitter module. They look like this and are installed into the back of your transmitter. They transmit on a lower frequency, in the 900 megahertz range, and have less signal loss over distance. The two main modules available on the market are the Team Black Sheep Crossfire System, or TBS Crossfire, and the FreeSky R9M system. The TBS Crossfire system consists of a module that installs into the back of your radio and a receiver that installs into your drone. These also require special antennas for both transmitter module and receiver. The TBS the system tends to be more user friendly as it's more plug and play, but it does have a higher price tag, but all in all is a very solid system. The FreeSky system is much like the TBS system, requiring both a module for your transmitter and a receiver for your drone. It can be a little more tricky to set up, but it's a lot more affordable. It also requires special antennas for both transmitter module and receiver. Distance. It's hard to say exactly how far a long range module will allow your system to go. There are a lot of factors that can both increase and decrease range. Antenna placement on the drone, antenna quality, damaged or improperly installed antennas, atmospheric interference interference, and so on. But it's safe to say that you can get at least two miles of range out of both systems. The key is to test your system in a safe location and have a fail-safe plan, such as having a self-powered beeper or GPS rescue setup. Flying long range is always risky. You're often flying in areas that if something went wrong, you would have to hike to retrieve your drone, and hiking is just the first part. Locating it can often be very difficult. Risk of losing a drone is high. We don't recommend long range flying for beginners, and when you do start transitioning to long range, you want to make sure you have the right equipment set up. Make sure you get lots of time in close range before you attempt any kind of long range flying. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.